la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la la la. What's up, Leo gang? What's popping? What's going on in life of a Leo between the first and the fifteenth of October? Hmm. Y'all got some decisions to make, huh? All right. We ain't gonna hold y'all too long because you know Leo's y'all be having shit to do. All right, I be looking at them analytics like <laughs> my babies they come. Y'all watch a nice amount of this video, but y'all y'all the highest comer backers too. Y'all be come back. Y'all gotta come back and hit that shit again. So I thank you, thank you babies, thank y'all so very much. <laughs> I freaking love y'all. Um, check this out. This is your first time to my channel. Hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time to my channel. Look, look out. I make us a little. I make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. And I ain't going to lie, I pre-shuffled and laid them already because I have to balance my time wisely because today is quite the day and I'm still going through being sick, but I, I keep a cape on, okay? Can't see the cape. Some of y'all can. It don't matter, all right? But just know, this girl be moving, all right? And I love y'all very much and the love is what keep me going, all right? So I'm trying to get everything done so I can actually be sick in peace. <laughs> get better so I can turn up shit. Alright, so we rocking. Um this will be for the Sun Moon Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Leo between um the first and the fifteenth of October. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description on how to reach me and get that. This general and may or may not apply to everybody. Take what resonates, leave what don't. For the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We are the dysfunctional. We cuss. We don't fuss and fight. We need that shit on other people's channel. Mocha don't play that shit. But <laughs> we love, we enlighten, we grow, we evolve, we are family, all right? So I do appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments, y'all. I'm nothing without being able to shine my light to y'all, you know? So I, I appreciate y'all for that, you know? I truly do. Um, So we rocking. I don't want to get out mushy because, you know, I cry and shit. <laughs> so let's rock, Leos. Spirit wants to talk. A lot of y'all are coming in harmony. Some of you guys are dealing with um literally the yin to your yang, baby. But some of you all, this person kind of inspires you to love yourself more. This person puts so much love into you and they really get on your tail about loving yourself. So they make you kind of reflect and look back over some of the people who you've been in love with and some of the people who you dealt with, some of the situations that you've encountered, you know, and, it, and it's really a place of, damn, this is where I've been. That's why I was. And getting out of that place and releasing that, extract. We inspire. We are to extract. Don't hold on to that shit. Because you you create your own mental asylum. All right. So with that, I feel like some of y'all are dealing with other fire signs. Every Leo Sagittarius. Some of y'all are dealing with um, a whole lot of earth in here. It's water up in this thing. A little bit of air. Okay. But I feel like the air that's up in here signifies healing. Internal healing within the self in order to move forward. And really just, really just seeing shit for what the hell it is. Seeing people and not just saying you ain't shit and holding on to the emotion. But literally... Not looking at the ain't shit side of them, but looking at what lesson it was that they bought your life and the wisdom that you grew in order to truly move forward and not really give two fucks about how they feel, how they mama them feel, how they cousin them feel that you was cool with and used to go to the club. It don't matter how none of them felt because at the end of the day, whether I'm my greatest great or I'm just chilling and I'm working at getting to my greatest great. I know my truth. I know where I've been. And I know I ain't going back to that place because I know what it felt like. A lot of y'all are expanding your knowledge during this time. And in expanding your knowledge, okay, some of you guys are learning um, tarot. Some of you guys are going back to school, okay? Some of you all are definitely dealing with some form of medicine, okay? Or trying to go deal with medicine. I see medicine. Some of you all are trying to be holistic. You're learning about creating like holistic remedies, okay? To heal others all right but you're having to learn this um through possibly like using it on yourself i'm saying this like you kind of literally trying certain things yourself just to kind of branch out but some of you all who are, are going into business for this i do see it being successful because it has to do with your life purpose and your life path you didn't feel it for nothing all right so i do see some of y'all need to make a decision okay you have, some of y'all have to, to make a decision between Two lovers. One could be an earth sign. One could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like with one, with the person from your past, you sexually driven to this person. 
Okay, because I feel like it's a new person and someone from your past. With the you definitely okay. I feel like some of y'all had actually went in hermit mode. You went to your damn self, okay, to your corners. You separated from possibly an earth sign, all right? When you separated from this person, you possibly had a passionate beginning going on with a water sign. Like Cancer Pisces Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason why that beginning was so passionate for some of y'all because this person is a past life connection for you, okay? Now you have the option of <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Being in love, okay? Or for some of y'all just not focusing on love, just having me some fun, having me a casual, stable partner to have fun with and focus on my coin. But if that is your truth and you're putting your focus and you focusing and nurturing something that will help others and something that is going to bring so much abundance into your life, I'm not going to tell you to sit here, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to block love because <coughs> Leo, <coughs> love for you guys is inevitable. I'm not going to tell you to block love. What I am going to tell you is that for those of you who are starting going into a new start with love, release the fear of feeling like you 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 need that ex-partner because for some of y'all, you may go back and I'm just going to be real. I'm going to call it how I see it. Some of y'all going back or went back and possibly had sex, possibly with an earth sign, possibly somebody who you have a child with or some type of family structure with. Now, you know this person was toxic as hell and they had the they had the intention on you coming back to stay. You wanted to have some fun because now you got this connection with this water sign. You possibly ain't moved it along, okay? But you have this connection, so you got a choice to make, okay? And so I feel like now that you've been connecting with this person, you're going to chase your damn ace of wands, then here comes the past, okay? For some of y'all, it's Earth. For some of y'all, it's a Cancer. For some of y'all, it's Capricorn. For some of y'all, it's Taurus. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Aries. You want to start over. You want to build something solid with this person. This person won't marriage, okay? But on both ends of the spectrum, here come people from their past. Here come people from your past. Toxic ass people, might I add, okay? But I feel like both of y'all, neither one of y'all, both of y'all have lived in this energy before. Both of y'all have felt the stabbing of them swords, of the felt the stabs of them damn swords through your heart, through deception and third party energy. I feel like some of y'all, <clears throat> some of y'all could be working on some type of new beginning family structure with an Aries, with a Cancer. Okay, but some of y'all, you, it could be somebody who you actually have a family with trying to come back and work it out with you and you just like where the hell you come from but the intensity and how much you love this person for some of y'all it's another leo but some of y'all it's you against yourself and it's literally like the battle and the choice between love and authenticity and truth that are wrapped in one and lust deception and toxicity instability is the end result depending on how some of y'all move in order to get that okay i feel some of y'all have a very toxic earth sign that could be possibly attached to a taurus this person could be married okay and i feel like this person really don't want you they just really want to get free from their situation so they can go out and explore their options so they selling you dreams and a lot of y'all Possibly through an argument or some, some something of that nature. Some of y'all might just piss somebody off intentionally just to see how the fuck they really feel about you. And I'm going to tell you something. It's going to work. Because it's going to help you make this decision in order for you to heal over that vibration. Heal through that vibration for good. To move away from it and learn from it and see how the hell that did not serve you. So you can appreciate where you're trying to go, babe. All right. But some of y'all, this could be external to you. Money looks good. Stop worrying about money. Some of y'all need to heal from the vibration of feeling like you ain't got enough. Heal from that lack. Lack ain't even real. It's a paradigm to put you in fear, in the place of doubt, which creates your own reality. Because, Leo, y'all some hella manifestors. The fuck? You know this. What you think is what you are. So be it. Chill out. Quit thinking negative things. Also... If you've been feeling like a Capricorn put you in a third party situation, this person is coming back to make some offers right now, but you feel like you ain't got all of the truth, you are absolutely right. They're offering you this cup on 
they offer you this cup, but for some of y'all finances too. Sis, bro, that's hush money. You better not tell on me. <laughs> yes, because a lot of y'all have a new beginning with a fire sign. A lot of y'all have a new beginning, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with a sneaky ass air sign. Jim Nali Broquares. This person wants to hit it and quit it. I don't give a damn what they said and how much smoke they blown up your ass. Some of y'all are going to find out the truth. Piss them off. They're going to tell you how they feel. And then thank me later, okay? <laughs> some of you all are juggling. Some of y'all got a Taurus juggling you, okay? And another earth sign. They stalking. Leo, some of y'all got an air sign or an earth sign stalking y'all. I feel like this is for the Leo woman. You dealt with a Gemini. This person wants a new beginning. But I don't understand this shit. So you can stalk, but they can't talk. Like you did some, this is somebody who you wanted to. You actually wanted something with them. And now they're seeing, oh shit, I fucked up. But instead of coming in and saying that they're very arrogant, they ain't gonna do that. They just gonna stalk and throw shade. Don't let the tree fall on you from the shade. I just all I can tell you. Just this person shade. Y'all. This Aries, though, go with the flow, okay? Go with the flow. For some of y'all, go that damn goat, Capricorn. <laughs> some of y'all got a cocky ass, arrogant character, Capricorn in your life. But this Aries, though, okay? This person, you're not being rejected, baby. Okay, you have to make a choice. So things are moving slowly. All right? And you feel like you're possibly giving more. For some of y'all, y'all are giving more than the person. And it's really stressing you the fuck out. You got to tell them, you, I ain't your mama. I, I don't got to like you like that. I ain't your damn mama. Okay? You don't got to like them like that. You ain't their mama. All right? So you welcome. You ain't got to like their ass like that. You got to feel bad for not, like, like, not liking their ass like that either. All right? So... But some of you all, you may feel like this person is not equally given to you because you really need to make a choice. Do you want to live in that place of doubting or maybe that's, mm -mm, well, is this too good to be true? Or no, you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't showing me this much attention, so you must not love me. That's not true. Some of y'all got people coming back. Y'all got unfinished business that you need to take care of before things can move. Forward because this path here to this third door with this apple near it, just letting me know it's bringing enlightenment. But from what you learned through these first two doors over here, see that path thin as fuck. Everybody can't go. So when this sword here was turned downward and you ain't been expressing yourself, you just been being the Leo that everybody wants you to be. Fuck that shit. You've been crying behind closed doors and sit in a situation that brings you emotional turbulence. Time to win. Get away from all them damn snakes. Some of y'all got people trying to shed enlightenment on your damn life and they fucked up. Fuck that shit. For what? Believe in yourself. And believe that things are coming. I got 666 in y'all reading. Six is the number of harmony. Now, ironically, this six of fire does symbolize harmony. It also symbolizes a lot of y'all, you working on being in a very harmonious place, whether you know it or not, but some of y'all need to let that hurt go, okay, and focus on the self and your abundance, because this person who you're dealing with, for some of y'all, for most of you, they look at you, they see the beauty in the fact that you don't need them, so that's what makes them want you more, the love that you're putting into yourself is what you're attracting, the love that you're allowing people to give you is, that you allow, hurt me, what you're allowing people to give you in your life is what you're going to get back. Fuck that shit. I, ain't your I don't like you like that. Tell them. Or tag me in. I tell them. Okay, because I'm Aries. I'm going to say, I'm going to have to come with my bull, with my speak, with my bull phone. Hey, y'all go to sleep. Who ain't sleeping? For why? For who? For what? Why? Go to bed. Newness is coming. As soon as you get off of that, oh, you rejected me. You don't want to see it from a different perspective. This person trying to take it slow because they've been there, done that. And for some of y'all, they be in their damn head too. They just ain't told you that. Don't lose the focus, though. What you want? You want love? You want shmoney? 
But I hope you want to move on because that's what the hell you're doing. New shit only. It's the VIP section. Okay? Like, we ain't got time for that. So, when these people from the past come back, state your truth. Forgive yourself. Forgive them. Let it go. Learn from it. Grow, baby. Spread them mother, mother wings. Because at the end of the day, you can have whatever you like and can create it too. From what you learn. Which choice you making? I love y'all. That's what I have for y'all between the 1st and 15th. October. If you need the personal, hit me up though. Ooh, <laughs> kill them. <laughs> y'all would never happen to, ooh, kill them. I, I used to like when the kids say that. Ooh, kill them. I like that. But uh, um, y'all, much love, much light, many blessings, much abundance. Namaste. I love y'all, my babies.